If you end up choosing a guy who treats women who he does not find attractive differently, you will regret it. Ladies, you gotta listen to your ugly fat friends, okay? That was me being glib to get your attention, but for real, there is something to this where the less conventionally attractive friends can sense when a guy is rancid. My cute little petite feminine friends get hit on at bars much more than me when we're in a group. I only really get hit on when I go out alone. And the number of times my friends can't tell when a guy is absolute trash is astonishing to me. The least conventionally attractive woman in the group knows when that guy's rancid because he will treat us differently. He might ignore us, he might make fun of us if he's really truly disgusting. And if the pretty friend that always gets hits on needs that validation for men and doesn't do anything about it, doesn't tell him off, then yeah, that's a problem. And that woman, you should reconsider being her friend. You wow. So because the women that you go out with that are in shape, that are smaller than you, that actually have discipline, that care what they look like, because those women are getting attention from men that you want and they're not standing up for you and letting you cock block them and ruin their situations, then they must not be uh, viable to be your friends, be your friend, right? That's crazy. You know, ladies, you need to understand that there's a lot of women out there that do this. And guys, too. There's guys that do this, too. You know, I remember when I used to go back, when I used to go out a lot back in the day. And, you know, I'm not going to toot my horn or anything like that. But, you know, I, I had some game and, you know, I had women attracted to me. Some women deemed me to be attractive or whatever the case may be. And there was always guys, even men I didn't know when I walked in clubs that would always kind of just gravitate towards me and stand by me. And I'd be looking around like, who in the hell is that? Why is he standing next to me? And it took a while to understand that there's a lot of people that just want to be around you to try to get the attention that they perceive that you get. And a lot of these people will straight hate on you behind your back. They will try to cock block you the whole time. We've all seen this in, in, in clubs. If you go out or wherever you go, you've seen this before. That is exactly what this woman is, the woman is doing. She has low self-esteem. She's out of shape. Um, she she's overweight and she's just jealous of her her, her uh, friends that are that are in shape and you're trying to say well you know if a guy treats you differently because they're not attracted to you they might even start making fun of you men don't typically sit there and make fun of the girl that's out of shape in the group he's more interested in the woman he's attracted to so that's just a lie so because a guy is not paying attention to the women he's not attracted to that that means he's a creep and that means he's this and that means he's that you have the same opportunity to be healthy and fit just like your friends but you choose not to you choose to have no discipline you choose to keep shoving everything down your face you choose to keep telling people accept me uh just the way i am because i'm happy in my own body in my own skin that's fine. You can be happy the way you are, but you have to understand that people have preferences on both sides. So if men are not choosing you, then it's something you need to work on. You're not an ugly woman, but all of that extra weight and all of that, those are red flags to men. So stop hating on your friends that are the opposite of you. And if you don't like them so much, you don't like these pretty skinny petite friends then why are you friends with them you're friends with them because you want the attention that they're getting and because you're not getting it you want to throw up all these warning signs to these cute petite skinny friends of yours you end up choosing a guy who treats women who he does not find attractive differently you will regret it you may be a mega babe right now you may think that he worships the ground you walk on right now but you cannot outrun time you will age and he may not like it. And then you're gonna find out how he treats women he doesn't find attractive. How he treats women that he's not attracted to, attracted to for a relationship. And this is true when she says everybody's gonna get older and all this, but by then you've established a relationship. Men understand this. When you get with the woman, over time things happen excuse me you have children things happen you might gain some weight that doesn't mean a man is going to sit there and say i'm happy with that because quite frankly a lot of women just let themselves go after they get in relationships and have children and all of that but we're not talking about that we're talking about the initial attraction 
So if you line up 10 women and you have five of them that are in shape, fit, feminine, and friendly, and you have five of them that have low self-esteem, that are three, 400 pounds, men have preferences just like women do. We're going to pick the ones that are fit, feminine, and friendly. It's as simple as that. Just like women have preferences, guy's got to be this tall, he needs to have this, he needs to have this going on, um, he needs some social proof, they have to know that some other women like them and that, you know, there's some kind of competition anxiety going on, all these things. But the bottom line is this, everyone is responsible for themselves. You're responsible for the way you look, okay? You can't change what God has given you as far as your attractiveness, what people see, but you can always be the best you can be. And the best way you can do that is be in shape. Because when men see women that are not in shape, I don't care if they have a pretty face or not, it screams that th that woman doesn't have any discipline. But you women, you need to get off of this thought process of, process of I can just be whatever and I can look whatever and men are just supposed to accept me. Men are supposed to treat me exactly the same as they treat a fit, feminine, and friendly woman. No, it does not work like that. So ladies, be careful of the women that you have in your life that call themselves your friends. A lot of them women are secret, secretly jealous of you. A lot of them women want to cock block you. They want to sabotage your relationships. We've all seen it. You go to a club, you got one, you're talking, you, you approach a group of people, right? I'll, I'll use this as a, from a man's perspective. You approach a group, there's five or six women. You might be attracted to the one woman in the group. Immediately what happens? You have friends start saying, come on, girl. No, we don't have time for that. She's not interested and starts pulling her away. That's cock blocking and that's jealousy. It's as simple as that. Men operate in a little bit of, you know, in a different type of dynamic when it comes to that, but it's pretty much all the same. Be careful who you have around you. Be careful of these people that claim to be your friends and claim to have your best interests at heart because most of them are highly jealous of you. And look, she's ready to toss her friends away that don't acknowledge what she's talking about. It's all jealousy. Wake up and realize don't stop being true to yourself if you got women like this around you men around you that don't care about what they look like they don't care they think everybody's just supposed to accept them for who they are just be aware of that the majority of these people are not your friends anybody can say oh yeah you're my friend oh you're my homie oh i love you oh i do anything for you the majority of people that you come across in your life are not meant to be in your life forever. They're not lifelong friends. They're just there for a season. They're there to serve a certain purpose. They're there to teach you a certain lesson. And this is something as a young as young people, you definitely need to pay attention to. Everybody is not your friend. A lot of people want what you have and they're jealous of what you can get. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.